Well, welcome back to my Lion Roco build. So in this episode we're going to continue with the uh, smoke box. It's been a little while since my last video. I had anticipated getting a video out, let's say every week or every couple of weeks. But you know how it is, you make your plans and God laughs. Anyway, so things haven't really been going to plan, not that I had much of a plan. It seems while I've been in the workshop my brain's been elsewhere. I could just show the good bits or the good outcomes, but that wouldn't be the full story. So, good or bad, let's have a look and see what's been happening. I'm busy making the uh, side plates for the uh, smoke box. which go on there so they just need filing to size so to assist with the filing I just have a couple of uh, bits of bar with two pins through and I can just separate those and uh, put the material in line it up with a scribe line Once it looks okay, put it in the vise. Give it a file. Obviously this gets file marks over time, so what I do is every now and then I just give it a, a trim up in the shaper. Okay, so we'll give that a try, see if it fits. So it has to fit between the frame and the edge of this uh, recess. And it should be uh, flush with the side of the frame. So yeah, that fits really nice. pretty good so it just needs to file into length now we need to look at making a backing plate to go in here so I've made a quick sketch of what we're looking for so we'll just mark that out Okay, that's it straight off the die filer. I'll just smooth that out with a bit of emery or something. But it's looking pretty good, fits really nice. So I just need to trim it the length. I was lucky here, this is actually the saw cut and it just fits. So I got a bit close with the band saw. Never mind, all is well, it ends well. So 
So I did put this in the milling machine and machine this face back uh, 180 degrees uh, depth being the thickness of this sheet. So that fits in there very nice. I've got the side plates clamped in place. It all looks pretty good. So these faces, these faces here are, are flush. So when you look at the photograph of the engine, there's um, like a flange on the end of the boiler, uh, which rivets to the smoke box. So you can see rivets around here. So I'm going to make a ring around here and put some artificial rivets in. So I just need to notch this out so it goes between the frames on the engine. Okay, so I've got it taped in place just to see what it looks like and it's fitting perfectly well. So that's it with the boiler removed. So it all fits quite nice. So when you look at a photograph of the full size engine, the sides of the smoke box are in line with the cylinder or the sides of the cylinder. So that's what we've got here so that's all well and good also when you look at the photograph of the original engine the end of the boiler appears to be flanged and then riveted to the smoke box so to simulate that the idea was to make a ring put some fake rivets in here and then fit, fix that to there however not really going to work out this distance is too thin I thought I might get away with it we do have some cladding to go on the boiler which will be about two millimeters so it's not looking good not if we want to simulate this uh, flange joint in the boiler now this smoke box is the width of the inside frames and it's four and three eighths inches however when you do look at the drones it does say this smoke box should be four and five eighths of an inch diameter or width. So I'm quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch aside short. The other thing is that uh, when I made the wheels, I didn't exactly make them to the drawing. I followed a model engineering uh, handbook. Uh, so my wheels are a bit wider and a bit closer together on the inside. So there's less clearance between the wheel and the smoke box. So all these little things are accumulating. Also if I did make this uh, bigger diameter it wouldn't line up with the sides of the cylinder or, or, or line up with these inside frames it would stick out which wouldn't be right it wouldn't look right. So you know the plot thickens. So what I've decided to do anyway is I've got about four millimeters or three sixteenths of an inch clearance each side here. I've decided to increase the width of the smoke box. Um, does mean it'll be closer to the wheels, which won't exactly look quite right because at the moment when you consider this against the actual photograph of the actual engine, it looks about right. Anyway, we have to make compromises. So once I've um, increased the width of this uh, smoke box, um, to avoid having a step between the side frame and the smoke box I'm going to increase the thickness of the side frame so I'll add another piece of material so that it'll be straight down which will uh, make it look right 
The other thing I'm not happy with is the model has these internal frames that come and fix to the front uh, buffer beam. So when you look at the photographs, um, it doesn't have these uh, frames coming up to the buffer beam. So what I would like to do is uh, eliminate these. Uh, so that's another thing to look at in the future. So I found a bit of tube I can use to turn up um, to add a layer around here. Unfortunately the tube I've got, the only bit I've got is uh, a smaller diameter than this. That's a problem. I can't just make another smoke box because this is the only piece of material available for making this. I've got nothing else I can use that would be suitable. Not without spending money anyway. Let's bash on. Okay, so I've turned up the tube, or I've bored it out anyway. And the thickness now is 2.7 millimeters. I was in for 2.5, but that's near enough. I said it is smaller than the uh, smoke box diameter. So the idea is to cut a section over here and uh, expand it and see if we can get the internal diameter to match the OD of this. If I can do that, that would be great. Okay, I've got it set up on a milling machine table so that I can apply some leverage to expand it. So we'll give it a go. That's pretty close. See what it looks like. It's pretty much there over the top section, but the sides need to come out. So we'll have to have a think about that. So I have to do a bit more manipulation off camera actually. It's not looking too bad. So we've got a bit of a, a little bulge here. So probably there actually. So I'll try and open that bit out a bit. When I put it under this bar it will have two surfaces, two edges in contact. So I'm going to line up the marking in the middle of the bar. When I clamp the bar down it should spread that out a bit. That looks pretty good. Quite happy with that. So I've just made up a wood side plate and put it in place to see what it looks like. Unfortunately it's really too close to the wheel. I mean there is clearance 
would work fine but just doesn't look right. So at the moment it looks like we just remove all this, just go back to what we have already and forget about putting a, a ring of rivets around the back of the boiler. It's a bit unfortunate, I would have liked to have had that feature. 